another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Biggie. Today we're going to be looking at the black on black Hamilton uh, khaki frogman. This is coming in at a price of $11.95 retail dollars. And this is available right now at ArizonaFindTime.com. They are in stock. And this one is most has to be possibly my favorite diver um, bang for the buck, period. But before we learn more about this one, here's a little bit more about Arizona Fine Time. Arizona Fine Time is located in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I'll leave a link to the website in the description. They stock many, many luxurious and great brands like Maurice Lacroix, Seiko, Seiko Lux, Tatima, Luminox, Laco, Mule Glasut, and exclusive brands like High end G Shock, Accutron, Ball, and many, many others. Come check us out and you're going to love what you see. Thanks. Hey guys, we're back. We're looking at this beautiful Hamilton Frogman. Now, this is the, um, the uh, H778253330. And like I said before, it's coming in at eleven ninety five, and this is possibly the best purposeful dive watch out right now, bang per buck. I really like this watch. Okay, um, it's <clears throat> it's very bold. It has this big bold crown guard on here. The case is huge. It's a forty six. It's still nice and slim. You have the lineage from Hamilton. Excellent water resistance on here, and when you pull the whole package together, it's just about perfect for purposeful um, scuba diving. Now, let's do some quick measuring on here. This watch, uh, side to side, let me zero the scale out. This watch, side to side, is going to be right at 46, as you can see. The bezel is going to be... 40 uh, no about right at 45 let me see yeah this is coming in smaller than our five this is about a 45 okay, okay a 45 millimeter watch now the thickness on here is 13.68 and then the lug the lug is going to be uh, about a 51 so it does have a lar large lug to lug and that's probably due to um, the way the lugs are spaded out and does, don't have a, a quick uh, downturn on there. If they would have did a sharper downturn on there, as you can see, the lugs push past the case. They, they could have gotten this a little smaller. But for the size of the watch, uh, it, it's, still a, it's still a real nice, uh, comfortable fit on my, on my wrist anyway, which is 7.25 inches. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, First things first, you have a beautiful dome sapphire crystal with anti-reflective um, coating um, on the inside. Lots of that. That's a good thing, Hamilton. Then you have this bezel with the steel insert um, that has, I believe, some kind of PVD coating on the inside, um, which is uh, flat, uh, sort of like the dial. Let me move it on that dial a little bit. You can see it has like a pebble grain uh, sand dial in there. And then you have a flat, uh, flat painted bezel. And these are all reliefed. And I love that because that's never going to wear off. This relief sticks up sort of kind of like um, on some of the older Breitling models. And I like how you have the relief in the first 20 seconds too, which is uh, fully graduated. That's really, really nice. You have a loom pip at 12. And then you have 100. Um, oh, let me see. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. You got a 60 click bezel with a serious ratchet and detent. No back play on this one. You have an all uh, silver rehalt. So there's no slant to the rehalt. It just goes straight down, and that is just a silver ring. Really great for a diver's watch, um, the, the way that's put together right there. And then you have this um, funky crown system. But let's look, look at the case first. The case is kind of spaded out kind of like a banana then you have a hamilton um h right here because the sign the crown is unsigned because of this funky uh crown 
but the brushing on here is all superior. You even get um, a polishing line that goes all the way up and around this gigantic bulbous crown guard reminiscent of a uh, Panerai. Uh, you know, so that's 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 pretty cool. And um the hands, you have these these uh cut off type sword style hands. Uh let me move the let me move it out the way so you could you could see that better. Okay. So those are the hands. The hour hand is red, I mean it's black and then the um, minute hand and the second hand are, are red uh, tipped. And I think that is, is just awesome for legibility. That is really cool. Well, the iron hand is actually in a chrome. It looked like black polish at that angle. It looked like it's black, but it's chromed. Beautiful, excellent, two lines of text. That's all you need is the word automatic, 300 meters, 1,000 feet. You don't need all that junk. You know what your watch can do. I love that they did that. That is perfection. Hamilton printing and logo at the top. The 12 is, and all the other indices are applied. I love the 12, and that is also loomed in that beautiful cyan blue color, and you'll see that in a minute. And then this crown system is it's kind of a funky, quirky crown. And the Frogman's always had the crowns, but I like this crown better than a, a canteen uh, style uh, crown. I really do. It is a screw down crown, 300 meters of water resistance, screw down back also with the Hamilton Frogman with the um, with the scuba mask on the back. That's that's pretty nice relief on there. Now, if you unscrew the crown, you don't get that much of a crown pop. It's because of this is so big, but this whole crown pulls in and out. You see that? That whole crown pulls in and out. And when you pull that out, it actually hacks the watch. There's only one position. This movement doesn't have a ghost position. That is a plus. But there's only one position, and that is all the way out, and that hacks the watch so you can set it. I really like that grab-and-go aspect of this watch. Now you push it in, and then you screw it down. Once you cinch that down, that's not going nowhere. It's ultra protected, and that is really good um, if you're going to be doing some serious uh, diving. So if you hit that crown on some coral or some rocks underneath um, or a great white shark will bite you, <laughs> whatever, this this watch will probably survive, but you won't. It has a real nice, uh, lovely uh, strap. I like this strap better than the bracelet. The bracelet uh, kind of fell short for me. Um, it has a bellow-style uh, strap that expands and contracts um, with your body. Hamilton H cut out in the uh, in the uh, class with a nice thick pin buckle and then rectangular pin buckles. And this is a nice heavy duty vulcanized rubber strap that is going to go in for the long run. Now I'll try this on my wrist, which is 7.25 inches. And I'm going to show you it doesn't even look out of place. That's what it looks like on my wrist. I think it looks good. And the way this case comes out right here, this offsets that big crown. And look at that. If you wear your watches behind the knuckle, you're not going to have any problems uh, with that crown. So that is uh, a plus on there. Now, we're going to do a loom shot of this one. And this loom is excellent. It has this um, BGW9 loom on here, and this is applied very evenly in a copious amount. And Hamilton hit a home run with this watch, in my opinion, all the way. I love it, and I am seriously considered getting one. Look at that loom. You're going to get that all night. Large paddle style iron hand and cut off sword um, minute hand and huge pip for the second hand. So this is a really great, purposeful diver that you can enjoy for years. Now, lurking up under this um, under this uh, case is going to be your Hamilton H10 with a free-spun balance wheel, um, 80 hours of power reserve with a Nevacron hairspring that's anti-magnetic that was uh, engineered by um, 
uh, Hamilton along with Artemis Piaget. That's right. AP had a little bit of part in um, um, these watches. So this is a great piece, great lineage, great heritage, uh, great grab-and-go grab aspect. Everything about this is great. Pick one of these up. This is an often awesome, awesome dive watch. If you're looking for a great rock-solid dive watch that is going to be bigger and bigger than a 40 mil, um, I'm going to have to say this is about a... Uh, let me see what it reads on here. Yep, that's a 45 millimeter. So this watch is just awesome. Let me know what you guys think about that one. That's the watch once over for today. Today, this is the Hamilton Khaki Frogman all new, black on black. It's the best one. My name is Biggie. That's the watch once over for today. Thank you for subscribing, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.